The National Rifle Association has come under an intense spotlight for its positions and political donations in the wake of a number of school shootings. Channel 9 learned one NRA program donates tens of thousands of dollars in equipment to local schools, mostly to JROTC programs. Investigative reporter Carla Ray is live at Edgewater High School tonight. And Carla, Edgewater received the most donations. What are they getting? Well, that's according to the NRA Foundation's own tax filings. The principal here, though, didn't know that the group who was giving them training and some other equipment for their JROTC was affiliated with the NRA. But other schools that we spoke to did know, and they say that money is vital to their programs. Sky Witness 9 flew above Seminole High School in March as a massive crowd of students walked out in protest weeks after the Parkland school shooting, some speaking out against the National Rifle Association. Together we are a very empowered force that can take on the NRA. But a 9 investigates review of the tax filings of the NRA's charitable arm shows Seminole High School is one of a handful in Central Florida that has taken and benefited from NRA money. Over the last three available years of data, we found more than $170,000 in equipment and other non-cash assets were given to local schools, with Edgewater High School in Orange County receiving the most, according to those filings, more than $70,000 for its JROTC program. Coco High School, Lake Howell High School, and Seminole also received similar equipment donations. Pellet rifles, targets, scopes, things like pads for the ground. So it helps them uh, have the equipment that they need to compete. Matt Reed with Brevard Schools told us the district there hasn't taken a position on seeking other funding sources, comparing the donations to any other extracurricular fundraising. The NRA has taken some pretty uh, uh, tough advocacy positions that make it controversial, especially after school shootings. But there's also a non-political arm of the NRA, and giving to programs like our JROTC programs fit its mission. Now, in Seminole County, they pointed out there that a lot of the donations they received weren't actually solicited by the schools themselves, but rather from outside groups. Reporting live, I'm Carla Ray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.